thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study the application of GCD and LCM. Remember, GCD is the greatest common divisor, while LCM is the least common multiple. Therefore, we're going to look at two application problems here so that you may understand when and how to apply each independently. In the case you see 2020-2021 exam, mathematics paper one number four, the question was, a rectangular floor of a room measures 5.4 meters long and 4.2 meters wide. The room is to be covered with square tiles. Calculate the minimum number of square tiles that can be used to cover the floor. What we should understand is that we are given the measurements of a room so that we may determine the measurements of a square tiles and hence the number of the square tiles. So what should be understood is that because the measurements of the rectangular floor are larger than those of the square tile, that means we are moving down into a smaller dimension. Then we consider the GCD. When we are moving down into a smaller dimension, we usually calculate the GCD, the greatest common divisor. Therefore, now that again the dimensions have been recorded in meters, 5.4 and 4.2 meters, we can change the dimensions to units which will cancel the desmos in this case. So we can get the GCD of 540 centimeters by 420 centimeters. That is the dimension of the room. So we're going to have 540, then 420. So we can do by two, whereby we're going to get a Z270 here, then a by two, 210. 270, then 210. Then by two again, whereby I'll get 135 and by 2, 210 becomes 105. At that point now, 2 is no longer a divisor, but we can divide now by the next, which is 3. So by 3, I'm getting a 35 and a 45 in this case. That means 3 cannot divide again because 35 is not divisible by 3. So now we go to 5 whereby this becomes a 9, this one becomes a 7. There is no any other common divisor between these numbers. Therefore, we say the GCD is equivalent to 2 by 2 by 3 by 5. This is 4 multiplied by 3, we get 12 by 5, 60, 60 centimeters. Therefore, now, from there now we will get the number of square tiles this is the dimension of a square tile 60 by 60 so now for us to get the number of square tiles number of the tiles then we can get area of the room which is 540 by 420 divided by square tiles measuring 60 by 60 and when we divide this we get exactly 63 tiles area of the room divided by area of a square tile alternatively we can talk about across the length we're going to have 540 divided by 60 and this is going to give us nine tiles that is across the length then across the wings when we take 420 then we divide by 60 we're going to get seven tiles so for us to get the total number of tiles then it will be the number of tiles across the length nine times the number of tiles across the width seven and this will still give us 63 tiles so i've said we calculate the gcd when we are moving from a greater dimension to smaller dimensions like from 
length of the building to length of the square tiles which are covering the floor. In the second question here, we are being told that a, a square room is covered by a number of all rectangular slabs of size 60 centimeters by 42 centimeters. Calculate the least possible area of the room in square meters. Now that uh, we are talking about the least possible area of the room, we should talk about LCM. But again, we should know that we are moving from smaller dimensions of the rectangular slab into first of all getting the dimensions of the room. Therefore, because we need greater dimensions, we should talk about the least common multiple, which is the, GC, the, the LCM. So LCM is a value greater than GCD for every for a given pair of numbers or a set of numbers. And because LCM is a, a factor which is greater than GCD, and in this case, we are moving from dimensions of slabs into dimensions of the room, then we need the LCM of 60 and 20 and 42, sorry. So again, we begin by two. This will give us 30, this will give us 21. By two again, 15, this remains 21. By three, this is going to be five. By three, seven. Then by five, this is going to be one. This is seven. And by seven, it's going to be one, one. Therefore, the LCM is going to be two squared by three, by five, and by seven. So this is going to be four multiplied by 15 to give us 60. 60 by 7 will give us 420 centimeters. So the dimension of the room is 420 by 420 since it is a square room. Therefore, with the dimensions of the room now, we can start talking about the least possible area of the room. So this means that uh, the room measures 4 Point two meters by 4.2 meters because according to the question we're supposed to get the area in square meters therefore 4.2 by 4.2 4.2 times 4.2 this is giving us 17.664 square meters